The Secure Blog, insights to give you an edge in your workplace and your life. The security industry is broken. What we have very loosely defined as a cybersecurity professional is not cutting it. The organizations that need cybersecurity deserve better. Fewer people seem to care about the cybersecurity profession. They just want to learn what's on a certification test so they can get certified and get a high-paying, cushy job where no one holds them accountable. Reasons? Cyber criminals are winning. Cyber criminals, at least the good ones, take their trade seriously. They are the good guys, but not really professionals anymore. This is the primary reason the cyber criminals are winning. The instant gratification wave is here. Many people don't want to put in the effort to learn a trade anymore. They just want to study the bare minimum, pass a certification exam, get hired, then fake it at a job as long as possible. B players hire C players, C players hire D players. We've ended up with an industry filled with C and D players. Certified people that don't really know what they're doing can't make proper hiring decisions and, most of the time, let their egos get in the way. Inflated salaries. Salaries for people that have a certification, such as the Security Plus, no experience, are paper tigers and could care less about cybersecurity, are grossly inflated. Cybersecurity Certification Classes People that just want to pass the test are not ideal students and are difficult to deal with as a trainer. Alpine Security's trainers really enjoy helping people that want to learn, pass the exam, and make a difference. Some solutions are Licensing Requirements Add licensing requirements for cybersecurity professionals. Many cybersecurity professionals protect your health records, intellectual property, and sensitive data. Personal records like credit card data, date of birth, social security number, etc. Just about every other industry has federal and state licensing requirements. Make cybersecurity certifications practical based. This gets rid of cybersecurity paper tigers. EC Council is taking this approach with CEH Master. Licensing requirements would fix this too. Industry leaders need to step up and put purpose before profit. At Alpine Security, we're making an effort to attract our ideal students and repel the others. This is a bit risky, as we're a business and need to generate revenue. The skills gap primarily exists because cybersecurity is considered white-collar. As for the skills gap, companies should consider having one person that is a professional and has a license in cybersecurity, rather than 15 to 20 people that are paper tigers. One real tiger can easily take out 15 to 20 paper ones. At Alpine Security, our goal is to help the industry and our clients not contribute to the problems in our industry.